You know the UFC kind of want to call on you when they need an exciting fight on the card. But I'm curious, when you heard the name Crone Gracie on the other side, were you a little bit surprised? What was your reaction to hearing him? We haven't heard from him in quite some time. Yeah, I was surprised. I thought he was retired. But at some point, we were supposed to fight when I won in uh, Korea against Choi. I, I, I was uh, pushing to, for the fight against uh, uh, Cobb Swanson. And they just had a very good war. And maybe they wanted to build up a fight with me and Kron. Then I would fight uh, Cobb afterwards. So yeah, it was something that was... Uh, meant to be. So when they called, I was not that much surprised. It was just the, the fact that he's been out for a while. But yeah, I don't know what he's been doing, but uh, I, I'm sure he's been training well, but he's putting a lot of time in his uh, academy, I think. So yeah, that's, uh, I control what I can control. Yeah. Are you, uh, <coughs> so with that being said, you must be familiar with his game then. If you thought you were going to be fighting him before, is this like, okay, well, I kind of know what I'm doing and I just need to go back to where I was training that way before? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, if I would have taken the fight back then, it would have been very, much harder than it would be uh, the, that it, that is going to be with this weekend because this eight-month period that I took off after the the loss to Shane Burgos and then uh, Nate Wood in Paris, I, like I was taking fight every two months. Like it's been 11 years since I've been fighting, counting amateurs, and uh, even though I'm only 27, I've been fighting so so many times. It's the biggest layoff I took. And the, the layoff made me uh, realize that most of these fights that I had split decision uh, or very close uh, losses, I'm like, I could have win those fights with more strategy and stop wanting to be more of a crowd pleaser, let's say. So yeah, strategy will be something uh, incredibly important for this fight. And uh, the, 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 the finish will come uh, organically. I don't need to chase anything. You know, you said that time off was good for you, but he's been away for a long time, right? There can't be too much time off. Are you expecting him to be rusty in there? Are you expecting him to kind of, you know, look completely different than we saw before? What are you expecting from him? I think uh, rust is something that uh, accumulates when you don't have that much competitive uh, experience. And this guy has been on the mat since he was like six years old, you know. So I think at two-year-old, Rickson put a gi on him. So this guy knows competition. I don't think he's going to have those jitters and those uh, what if uh, stress factor or whatever. I think he, he's, uh, he's a born fighter. And uh, we're going to see a very, very good Kron version of Kron Gracie. Maybe age is a factor. Maybe the time off will be a factor. I don't mind. I'm, I'm preparing for the best version of Kron we've uh, ever seen. Yeah. We know that he loves a submission. The <coughs> last name alone says that. So what are you looking for on Saturday, and how do you see the fight ending? Uh, I see the fight ending because uh, he takes too much shots, I think, uh, in his fight, let's say, with Cub. And uh, maybe he's going to try to go for takedown right away and uh, because uh, you saw his gas tank go very uh, down very fast against Cub, and Cub did a, had a phenomenal game plan so that would be uh, i'm gonna have a very similar strategy in terms of uh, uh, more strikes with the hand and then uh, yeah just uh, let him eat as much shots he wants to eat and i think i think i have very good hands most of my finishes in ufc are all hands my career in tko as well so even though they they, they phrase me as a muay thai fighter and a kickboxer I, every time I knock someone down is uh, with uh, hands. So yeah, that's going to be the factor. It's hands up against a, a shark who's trying to, to drown you. <clears throat> Thank you. Over here. How you doing? Um, so obviously the name Gracie is synonymous with mixed martial arts. What's it mean to you to get a win over uh, such, a, such a notable name? It's good. It's a perk. It's something uh, like some people would like to, to brag about. I'm not a big bragger myself. I think uh, it's 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 good. It's good for publicity. People will rem uh, will rem at the end of my career be like, oh, you fought a Gracie. It's good and everything. But like uh, having a coach, my my master Fabio Landa, who's, who's Brazilian, he was around all these guys uh, in Sao Paulo and uh, in uh, Brazil and everything. So. Yeah, I'm not that intimidated by the name Gracie. I watch a lot of fight like uh, Almeida against Pat Cote. I watch uh, Roger Gracie against Tim Kennedy. I think that is so. I see those very high-level jiu-jitsu guys who people are very intimidated and then performing not to what we expected them to, 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 to perform the way. Uh, sorry, my English is uh, sketchy. But uh, yeah, I'm, I mean... Uh, it's a big name. It's a good name. It's good for me. Like coming back from two losses, I'm fighting a big name who's coming from a loss, three years layoff. So it's uh, it's do or die for him or me. Absolutely. And and you've been active and actually I think his last fight was in 2019. So all footage is going to be old. And do you do you plan on him just coming in with the same game plan he always has, or do you plan that like maybe he added some new things to his arsenal, new, new weapons to his arsenal, or what's it like to game plan with somebody that's been out of the sport for so long? 
Uh, if he was younger, I would expect him to have uh, uh, mature, like uh, be be a very different fighter. I, I doubt that. I think he's going to be better than uh, in, like in the jujitsu uh, jujitsu aspect, the way to, to transition, to try to go to the ground, everything. But like uh, because he's 35, because he's uh, he's been doing jujitsu, like all of his fight, he fights the same way. I don't think we're going to see like a flying knee, spinning kick, Kron Gracie. God, thank you. My pleasure. Hey Charles, over here again, sir. So. Currently on your first losing streak in your entire career. Yes. Uh, what has that done for your motivation heading into this fight? Uh, it, of course, you have this factor like your brain is is uh, telling all the worst outcome possible, and it's like, oh, if you lose this one, maybe you're going to lose your job. All of this, but this is uh, this is pressure. This is pressure I brought onto myself by performing not to my best, the best of my ability, uh, especially in the fight in Paris. I was I really just wanted to fight in Paris more than I wanted uh, to to. To win, I, I don't know. I, I did some stupid stuff, but now this uh, eight months layoff made me realize, man, I got I got the potential with a proper strategy. I can I can I could have beat most of the guys that beat me, and uh, I'm uh, I, I need to level up. If I want to stay in the UFC, I need to level up. If <clears throat> if not, that uh, well, the door will be shown at me. So yeah, I need to prove that I'm a better fighter. I'm I'm only I know I know it's hold but not that old let's say like champions are like 32 33 that's mean five years six years that's a long time for me so i need to take uh more time in between fights i think i was fighting every two months in the last year so that that layoff helped me tremendously to to mature as a fighter and if everything goes well this weekend you stay healthy any chance at a quick turnaround you no see, no <laughs> <laughs> i'm not I'm, i did that too many times like uh, even if all of my fights in ufc like uh, there's so many late replacement, like the Erosa one, I was supposed to fight the English guy, uh, I don't remember his name, then, oh, four days, it's him, no, it's him, then choose, like, I, I, w I always said yes to everything, but now I accepted the fact that proper pre preparation is very important to have uh, the best, to perform to the best of your ability. My pleasure. That's it. Oh. I just, hello. Yeah, just wanted to get your thoughts on the main event and how you think it's going to play out between Sterling and Cejudo. Uh, it's a very good uh, question. Like, uh, like people, uh, I I'm a big fan of the sport as well. So you know, watching the the, the whole the Aljamain, uh, like the the knee, then the, the the close decision with Jan, and then the the shoulder popped of uh, of TJ. Uh, I truly agree that uh, if if uh, Sterling can beat Cejudo, that that sort of solidify him, but. He's the champ. I'm, I'm not a, a Sterling hater. I, I like the guy. And uh, when it comes to Henry Ceudo coming back, the layoff, his mentality. I saw him train yesterday, man. This is something else. This is why Ceudo is such a, a great fighter, man. His mentality, the way he speaks, the way he carries himself. A very great man. So, and Sterling is, is very big. Like I, I, saw him, I saw him when I fought in Long Island. He was there when I fought Shane Burgos. And I was next to him. I, I'm not a tremendously big featherweight. But I'm like, man, this guy, this guy could fight with us and and hang around. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I, I think I saw Sterling. He said uh, a win over Seudo solidify him as a 35 great, which I agree with. And then he, I think he would like to go uh, call out Volkanovski. Even Volkanovski said that. He said, I I think one of these two are going to call me out afterwards. So yeah, it's a very interesting uh, fight. Either either of the guy who wins, there's so many potential fights for them. And uh, yeah, great fight. Hmm. Hey Charles, on your left, right here. With this uh, layoff, is there anything that you've changed in your preparation in this camp leading up to this fight? Yes, absolutely. Like uh, like I said, strategy. Like uh, I, w I would be winning a fight, uh, and then I would be like, oh, let's throw a fucking flying knee and then get taken down. So uh, strategy is something I, I adopted. Uh, I've been uh, reading a lot. Like I I've been growing as a man and as a fighter. Because when you're always Okay, fight. Prepare for this guy. Prepare for this guy. Prepare for this guy. You're only preparing to 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 fight a specific opponent. You're not growing as a a fighter, as a man, as a martial artist. So this this layoff was a, a incredible gift I gave myself from all like those 11 years of fighting every two months, two three months. So yeah, I grew and I'm happy. Thank you. Yes, sir.